Hi, hello there. My name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. As you can tell, I have no makeup, no foundation, nothing on my face right now. What? That is crazy. What? That is because in today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I've seen a whole bunch of people review this foundation and really love it. For example, Jackie Ina reviewed this and really liked it. So... I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. I thought I would try it out. So in today's video, we are going to test this out. I'm going to do check-ins with you guys throughout the day. And we're going to see if this stuff really works. If you have watched any of my previous videos, you know that I have very, very extremely oily skin. So when I saw they came out with a Born This Way matte foundation, I was very intrigued by it. So in today's video, I'm going to do check-ins with you guys throughout the day to see if this really works, if it's really matte and if it's really full coverage. So if you'd like to see how this wears on my skin and if it lasts all day, then keep on watching. All right, so a little bit about this foundation. It says here, this oil-free 24 hour. I'm keeping this on my face for 24 hours, just saying that right now. Matte foundation. Masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Our matte formula stays completely color true while covering imperfections to reveal the all day shine free look of naturally flawless skin. Lightweight wear and coverage so undetectable, they'll think you were born this way. It also says here it is infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. This foundation comes in 35 different shades. I think that's a pretty good shade range for a foundation. And it retails for 40 bucks on Sephora.com and $39 on Ulta.com. Why do they do that? I don't know. Buy it at Ulta to save a buck. On Sephora.com it has 4.1 out of 5 stars, 84% said they would recommend. Alright, so I went ahead and primed my face with my Touch and Soul No Problem Face Primer and my e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer already. I will be doing half of my face with my Laura Lee Los Angeles L11 brush and the other half with my Kim Chi Chic Sponge just to see if there's a better application with a brush or with a sponge. So we are going to go ahead and pull our hairs back. I have such a big forehead. Yeah, it's a five head. Whatever, who cares? <laughs> and the foundation comes in a really pretty box. I feel like all of Too Faced's products come in gorgeous packaging. So this is nothing new. And the foundation comes in a very nice frosted glass container. You get the standard one fluid ounce with this. I picked this up in the shade Swan, so hopefully it matches. I'm just gonna go ahead and pump it out onto my brush here and get going. Okay, I think this is a close enough shade match. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit. I applied the foundation on this side of my face with the brush. This is what one pump of foundation on a brush got me. As you can tell, it covered up a lot of stuff. I would like a little bit more coverage, but it did cover a lot as you can see compared to this side of my face. So I'm just gonna pump more onto my brush here and apply a second layer. Alright, so that got me the coverage that I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation with my Kimchi Chic Beauty Sponge on this side of my face. For this, I'm just going to take the foundation on the back of my hand here, dip my sponge into it, and blend it out. Alright, I went ahead and zoomed you guys in again so you could see what it looks like with the sponge. This is with one pump on the foundation applied with the sponge. I would say it went a little farther with the sponge than with a brush. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to cover up my blemishes and we'll see what it looks like. All 
All right, so that foundation did blend out very well. I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer now. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Kimchi Chic The Most Concealer in the shade Ivory, and we'll see how this layers on top of the foundation. And I'm just using the same Kimchi Chic sponge to blend this out. Okay, I look like a ghost. I know I look like I look whiter than toilet paper. Um. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with powder. For powder, I'm using the Kimchi the Chic Beauty Puff Puff Pass powder. This is just the white no color powder. I'm putting some of it into the lid here, taking the same sponge into it and just baking my face. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my powder. I look even more like toilet paper now. Right now, the time is 11.51. I'm gonna go ahead and call that as the official application time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera, come back and see what we're looking like. All right, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup off camera. I basically did the same look that I did in my last video because I absolutely loved everything that I tried. In my last video, I tried out Kimchi Chic products. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I just wanted to recreate that look because I felt so feel beautiful again today. The time is now 11.48. I've had this on for almost an hour and I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see what my face looks like. All right, so this is what my face looks like up close. I put on fake freckles. I always do this. I gotta say it looks pretty good. I don't have any creasing around my nose or anything. I have no creasing under my eye. So right now we're still looking really fresh and matte. I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day. I have some chores I need to do. I may go in the pool, maybe, I don't know. But I'll be back in a couple hours to check in with you guys and see how this looks. Okay, so it is officially 8.10. This foundation has been on my face for a little over eight hours. And girl, I am ready to take it off. I did do a lot of stuff today. I was cleaning and cooking all day. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and see what this looks like after eight hours. Okay, so this is what my face looks like up close after eight hours. You guys, it honestly doesn't look bad at all. I have a little bit of oil right here in my nose crease, but besides that, I don't see anything else. I don't see any creasing around my smile lines. I don't see any creasing around my eyes. I'm amazed. I also want to add I did absolutely no touch-ups throughout the day. I didn't powder my face or apply more foundation or anything like that. This is just straight up eight hours of wear and it looks really good. So this foundation does retail for $40. It did wear really well on my face all day long. I don't have any oil on my face, I don't have any creasing, and it looks really good. So would I recommend this Too Faced Born This Way foundation to you? Yes, I would. It is 40 bucks, but it worked very, very well. It comes with a pump. The packaging is beautiful and it actually works. So if you have very oily skin like I do, I will highly recommend that you check out this Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Kayla Alligator with one A. All of my social medias will be linked in the description box down below, as well as everything that I have on my face today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.